Hello everyone, this is Ronald Hicks with uh, Freedom Miles Radio. And in my spare time, I like to do a few graphics, and uh, I guess some of you folks may have seen me in the Google Hangouts. Well, I guess you know that I really might like making those lower thirds, which uh, works with the Hangout lower thirds uh, application using the Google Hangouts. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to open my Photoshop up, and kind of show you how I go about it and give some of the specifics of exactly how it's done. So just follow along and uh, I'll show you how. So we're going to start by launching uh, Photoshop. And uh, there we go. Now what I've done already, the uh, template for the Hangout Lower Third, the canvas size, is 640 by 360 with uh, transparency. RGB is 8-bit. So I've already done that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no, and I already got my template. It's a preset called lower third, which I've already set, and hit OK. OK. So, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's half a dozen ways you can do this. I mean, there's a million ways you can do this, but uh, what I usually do is I have a little uh, transparent color background uh, close to the bottom of the lower third. So uh, what I usually do is just for this be kind of an ordinary kind of situation, I select the rectangle path tool and I uh, just drag it out down here like so. And then I hit Control T. That allows me to resize it. And I like to snap it right to the sides. That fits nice and snug there. Now I go back down to the path selection tool here, this black arrow, and apply. Now also what I do on my Wacom pen, I uh, I guess I do a left click or a right click. But anyway, you, you do that and you make selection out of this. Now that will make a selection, which you can enable in a layer as a mask if you like. But just for simplicity, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to fill the selection. And I'll show you which area is protected and which is not. You press the Q key and that will show you the mask. And that shows you that the upper area in red is protected, so the color will only fill that clear part at the bottom. So we'll go back off to Q key, and we go to hand to edit. Now you see we got a light blue color on this is a foreground chip. So we go here, and we say fill. And we like it to be somewhat uh, this opacity. Actually, it's 30% transparent. It's 70% opacity. And I've got the foreground color selected which is that little light blue chip foreground color. So we just hit OK, and boom, OK. Now, we've got that fill. Now, we no longer need the selection, so we can just hit Control D, and that will get you out of the selection. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a little text in there. And for this uh, demonstration, uh, I'm a uh, radio talk show host at Freedom Miles Radio. So I'm just going to put the web address in there, and uh, just for the uh, demo purposes. And that's www.freedomizerradio. Two R's in there. Dot com. Now this looks a little small, so we go back to our move tool up here. And now we can move this text around. That will kind of, kind of automatically uh, center it for me. But I'm going to resize it. We're going to go to Control T which allows us to uh, adjust it. And I'm going to hold down Shift-Alt so we can go out from the center. And we're going to resize it a little bit. And we hit Enter. So just make sure things are uh, aligned on both of these layers, both the text layer and the uh, our, uh, color layer down here. Oh, I moved things down a little bit. We've got Control-Z. I accidentally resized the, uh, the uh, transparent background. Oh, okay. So anyway. Need to hold down the control key. Now we hold down the control key to select both the layers. Then we go up here, we've got this alignment tool. We're going to get everything in the center. And it looks like it's already centered. Uh, that's, that's for the demo purposes. And so maybe I want to put a little uh, drop shadow on the text there. What I do is I go up to my layer, layer style, and I go down and I got the drop shadow. And I got some settings here. I can set the angle, uh, the distance, you know, a couple other things like that. 
and uh, the spread it kind of blurs it out a little bit and of course you can do the opacity on this too you can set the opacity of the shadow so uh, there's several other settings you can make here and then we just hit okay okay now so far so good right so now all we have to do now we need to save it to use it in the hangout loader there needs to be a, a portable network graphic known as a PNG specifically a PNG 24 with transparency so we go up here we go to save for web and you got the PNG 24 the transparent transparency box is checked that'll be correct and we just leave this alone the percentage and the size we want it to be 640 by 360 so anyway we just hit save and we go in here and I made one previously but I'm gonna call it the same thing and I'm gonna hit save it's gonna ask me don't want to replace it and say yeah I want to replace it and there you go so that's how you uh, make a lower third now uh, I guess I could make another one but uh, once you do that, then you can go into Hangout Lower Thirds application. At the bottom, it's got a selection for custom image, and you uh, select your image, you hit the own button, and uh, you're on your way. So uh, thanks for viewing, and uh, we'll see you in a Google Hangout sometime. All right, we'll see you there.